going to make a super sparkly crystal raindrop bracelet. I've got some four mil bicones beads. I've got some silver crystal 10 uh, size 10 seed beads and I've got a stop bead. I've also got my thread with a good arm's length on the needle and I've conditioned it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up, I'm just going to start working with the seed beads. So I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, sixteen 16 of them. Okay, so it's always good to leave them on the needle so you can count and make sure that you've got the right amount. Then I'm going to slide these all the way down the thread till they reach the stop bead. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread, I'm going to form like a loop and I'm going to go back through the first two beads. So here's my stop bead. So the two beads before the stop bead, I'm going to go back through and this will cause my beads to form a nice loop shape. Now I'm going to pick up nine beads. This is a nice simple bracelet. It's a great beginner project. Now this time I'm going to go back up the bracelet and I'm going to count from the bottom from where my thread comes out and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five and I'm going to go through the sixth and the seventh bead. So I'll just go and going upwards in that direction and that is going to form a loop going the other way. So when I pull it up, you will see that now I've got this sparkly S shape or design. So I've got a loop on this side and a loop on this. So that's basically it. So now it's just again picking up nine beads. See how I'm keeping the needle quite straight and then just flipping the beads on their side and you can just keep flipping and popping quite easily. And I've probably got too many but it's good to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can just drop those two off the end. There we go and I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to count down from the top bead. One, two, three, four, five and then the sixth and the seventh bead, which are these two, I'm going to take my needle through. So through these two here, and I'll just pull that through. Here we go. And now you can see I've now got my third, my third set of loops. Now, if you want to see how it's come a little bit loose down there, because I'm working on the mat to show you, you can just literally Pull up your tension like that and then pop it down and see now I've got good tension. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and count up one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going through the sixth and the seventh bead. And pull it up. And there we go. Now you can see it's coming along that I've got all my lovely loop shapes, my, my teardrop shapes. So I'm going to carry along exactly like this until I get to the length that I require, which will be about an inch short of the finished length because I need that inch for the clasp. And so if you carry on and do that, and I'll see you at the other end. I've made my bracelet length. It's all finished. And I've ended with the thread coming up and I'm coming out of these two beads. But what I want to do now is I want to just strengthen this end a little bit. And I also want to bring my thread to come out from here, which is the one before the two. So to do that, I'm just going to weave around and I'll just go through here and I might pick it up, it's easier. I'll weave around here, come down through these two beads. So I'm just really retracing around my steps when you weave around. It just firms things up. I'll come down through here, across this middle section, 
down through these two beads here you just follow the thread path and meander around you don't cross you know where you shouldn't cross you just follow where the thread has been before it just strengthens the end and it gets you back to where you want to be almost there and now I just come up through these few there we are and now I am exiting right where I want to be which is in this bead before the two joining beads at the end I'm going to add a class now as you can see we've got it's big on this side and little on this so I have to do like an irregular shape so I'm going to pick up five beads one two three four five and bring them down to the end then I'm going to just pick up one bead and that will be my turning bead because although I'll show you later you have five on this side and then just three on this side so it gives us a small little pico at the end so here's my one bead then I've decided because I'm going to be adding these fabulous crystals in I'm going to make a little crystal clasp so I'll pick up one seed one crystal one seed one crystal one seed and one crystal then I'll bring these down and what I'm going to do and I'll hold them over my finger I'm leaving these beads here and I'm going to come back through the last few seeds and crystals so this last crystal seed here and then all those crystals and just come through the last two there we go and that will form I'm going back through them and that will form a little ring if I do it down on the mat you'll see and then to form the complete circle I need to go back through this one pivotal crystal here so I'll just go back through that one there there we go and now you see I have this little circle on the end and this is going to form my clasp so I'm just going to strengthen that a bit and I'm going to add crystals around the crown the seed beads around so I'm going to pick up seven one two three four five six seven obviously you can add whatever class you like but I just thought this was a bit of fun and I'll come out and miss the crystal and go around it next seven one two seven three four five seven miss the crystal go through the next seed bead go around one more one two three five six seven and now I'm going to miss the crystal and go through that first one again you can see it's this one here where I first started going to go through that and then I'm going to actually go around all of those beads again for strength I'll just take it around quickly one two three four to see and it tightens it up and firms it up as well Oop, got a bit caught up there it's because I'm hurrying there we go mm. almost all the way around now when I come back down to the end here see that makes quite a nice little clasp closure when I come back down to the end here I'll go through that first bead 
but then I'm actually going to come back down this one spine bead there yeah, that one so I've left the one two three four five and this was the sixth bead that's my turning bead so now if you see I've got my cute little clasp on the end and I'll just pick up three beads one two three and then I'm going to go through see this is where my thread was coming out on this side one two three back and I'll just pick it up so you can see so it's one two three and I'll just come in here one two three and when I pull that up you'll see now that my little clasp sits straight and not on an angle so again I'll just come up and around and back down again to um, strengthen it and then I want to I'm going to weave around and then I'm going to come out from this bead here facing in this direction so it's this one here and it'll be facing in this direction so I'll be doing a little bit of weaving and then I'll see you back down here now I've gone around actually uh, what I did is I went all the way around the clasp again and down then I followed the thread path all the way around and now you can see I'm exiting from that third bead from that intersection so one two three because as you see between each of these we have three beads between each of the little intersections so it's easy to see so I'm coming out of this thread uh, this bead here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to capture little crystals inside each of the drop shapes so I'll just pick up a crystal and what I'm going to do is the thread is coming down here I'm now going to go up through these three beads here so you can see those three in the middle and this is quite a nice easy thing to do and then that just pops my crystal right in this spot and I'm right in position to add the next one so I'll pick up another crystal and this time um, there's the one two three beads here we've got one two three beads so I'm going to go down those three so one two and three can you see that and then when I pull that down now I've got two crystals in shape in position sorry so now I'm coming out of these three I'm going to go up through these three and once you get into the swing of it it's quite quick one two three pop it in place another crystal one two uh, coming out of these three going down through these three one two and three and so it's just the same until you get to the other end of the bracelet so I'll do just one more coming out of these three going up through these three middle beads there we go so I'll just fill those in and then I'll see you down the other end of the bracelet where we will do um, a matching clasp and a loop now I'm just putting on my last crystal and I'm going down through these last three beads and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to firm up this end oops so down one two three I'm also going to go through these two bottom beads as well just before my stop bead because what I want to do is I want to make this end a little more secure before I put on the clasp so once again I'm going to weave around all the beads down through here oops down through these three again 
those two. And finally, I'm going to go around and then come right back to where I started, which will be one, two, these finishing off just before those two end beads. So there we go. Now you've got two options here. If you like, you can always weave this away and if you, you know, because I've got a long enough thread, but if you haven't, then you can always, you've got this one here as a backup to do your clasp. But as I've got this one here, I'm just going to remove the stop bead because I no longer need it. And I don't think I'll be using this clasp, this thread. And I'm going to now put on my um, clasp end to match the other end. So if you see we're at the short end here, so I need to pick up the five plus one beads, which I'll do. One, two, three, four, five, and then one. And I've worked out that a nice loop size for my clasp, which is this little flower clasp, is um, 18 because it just pops over sort of sideways and you don't want it too big. So now I'm going to pick up 18 beads and make a loop. One, oops, three, four, five. It's always good to sometimes um, test, you know, the class before you the size of the loop. Even if I give you a number, it's often sometimes quite good to make it and then test it before you finally go around two or three times, just to make sure that it's sitting nicely and it fits nicely. Because uh, sometimes you've only got to have the slightest difference in the beads because of maybe the coating or um, you know the size, and it might not fit. So it's always good to test anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One more is eighteen. Okay. So now this is quite easy. I'm just going to turn it around. So there's my one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go back through the one and bring it down to form my loop. There we go. And then remember on this side, I only need to pick up three, one, two, three. And I'm going to go through the third bead before that intersection, one, two, and three. And then just like before, I'm going to go around again a few times to firm it all up. So there we go. So that's how it will look. So that way it sits straight. Now, I, all I have to do is to go up and around and down, you know, and if I can do it twice more, that would be great. Uh, and then I'll weave down and tie off some knots and end off. And that's our bracelet finished. Mm -hmm.